thank you, Ambassador Beck, for this uh, event and your staff. And uh, as a member of the Bologna expert team of the Ministry of Education, this framework of collaboration was something that was missing from our agenda. And this is a good, very good initiative. So uh, I would like to convey uh, the, the regards of our rector, uh, Athanasius Mitropoulos, for this event. And uh, as our first slides, I would like to show you the location of our institute up in northern Greece. And this is our campus. And uh, if you would like to have a more detailed tour, you can do it via the Google Street View program. So we have a special tour around the campus for those of us who are interested in, uh, in touring uh, around the campus. Uh, some demographics regarding uh, our institutes. We have uh, four faculties and nine departments. Uh, you can see it, uh, it is uh, spread in three different uh, cities in northern Greece. Uh, those are the, the main fields. Uh, especially uh, electrical engineer, and this, uh, uh, these fields are located in Kavale, which is the main uh, area of activities of uh, Eastern Macedonia and Trash Institute. It's the, the recent name of the institute instead of the of Kavale. And uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, different uh, areas where somebody, if, if someone is interested in collaborating with us, there are many of areas that uh, uh, we can uh, seek for collaboration. Uh, actually, we have uh, almost 11,000 students and uh, 170 academics. <coughs> and uh, we have six autonomous uh, MSc degrees. Uh, I'm not spending time on reading this slide, but I would like to point out that we have an active uh, collaboration with uh, Athabasca University of Canada, and we are, dealing, uh, we are doing the, the master degree on uh, Master of Education since 2009. So, uh, We have two journals that uh, are uh, indexed uh, in Scopus Index, and uh, what I'd like to point out is uh, our profile, the European profile, having 19, almost 100 European uh, MOU with universities in Europe. Here are the names, but for somebody who'd like to have a look, but. We are very proud to announce that we have a recent MOU signed with uh, CERN. It's uh, the largest uh, research organization in uh, Europe. Uh, and uh, we have a, uh, an MOU signed this August as uh, our institute is investing over uh, not only 1 million, but it will be extended to 5 million euros in creating high performance grid and cloud infrastructures. And that's something that maybe a perimeter institute will be interested in. Uh, and uh, our uh, institute uh, has uh, this label, the European label of ECTS. Uh, here it's what we've done in the past dealing with uh, this uh, partnership with Canadian institutes. Uh, we start looking for a partnership back in 2008. Uh, we contact some of those universities, and here are some uh, uh, pictures of uh, our mine visits in uh, Canada. Uh, Professor uh, Gay, you can see yourself in there as I was in your office, and I would like to ask for two minutes, one minute, uh, just to point out a few things. Uh, so finally, we end up with a collaboration with uh, Thabaski University. Uh, I, I graduated from that university. Uh, so uh, we have an active uh, MOU signed in, back in 2009. Uh, and uh, we based this MOU on five axes, as you can see, collaboration on master programs, on staff exchange, research collaboration, and uh, there are some details on these. Uh, we managed to have three program as uh, accredited in Greece. It is the only uh, program uh, via distance that is accredited in Greece right now. We have uh, 
a great interest of uh, students applying to the uh, at the Basque University, 60, 650, but only 12 end up uh, enrolled in the university due to the high cost of uh, master degree and PhD programs in, in Canada. Uh, when you compare this to the uh, uh, fees that they have to pay in Europe and in, in Greece. So this is another point that we have to discuss. Uh, as regards to the staff exchange, you can see that uh, Professor Mohamed Ali, who is a distinguished professor in mobile learning, has visited our university and uh, provided a presentation on innovative delivery technology in education. And of course, uh, the UNESCO chair, Professor Rory McGreal, uh, in a, a is dealing mostly with uh, open educational resources. We have a few research uh, projects with Athabasca University. Uh, one of our students was uh, sponsored by the university to uh, present uh, our research in the World Conference of Media. And uh, we have, I'm proud to announce, two books on mobile learning that are going to be published this year. One. Uh, from the Commonwealth of Learning in Canada, and the other one from the public, from the University of China, uh, and it is forwarded from the Francesco Petro, from which is the UNESCO chair on mobile learning. Of course, there are some other uh, initiatives that we are working on on research projects, and uh, what are planning to do in the future is to exchange, exchange uh, students uh, of, uh, between the two uh, institutes. And what I would like to say is that we are not looking only for a, uh, an MOU or an MOA which will be uh, left on a desk of somebody's uh, office. We are looking for a real friendship bond that is between our staff and your staff. Thank you very much.